Okay, so we have since done the MCU 2 and full self-driving upgrade to the 2017 Model S. And in addition to that, we got the new screen, we got everything, it looks amazing. But we still have one big complaint. So as you might remember, this is an Autopilot 2 car from early 2017. They started doing Autopilot 2.5 in about August of 2017. Yep. But on those early Autopilot 2 cars, which were built from October 2016 through August of 2017, they had cameras on the side and the front cameras and on the side pillars that had its RCCC. And basically they're, they're not like full color cameras yeah. and it doesn't really show green in those. Uh, it's still able to detect traffic lights and it's still able to do Autopilot just fine. Yeah. And it's, in some ways, the I hear that the contrast is better and maybe autopilot is, it can work better with those RCC cameras. It's all that was required. You didn't need to see green. Right. But when Tesla started with autopilot 2.5 hardware, they changed the cameras so that now green is better displayed. It's still not like perfect color like you might see in the rear view camera, right. but it's much better color. So when Tesla added the feature to be able to see those uh, side repeater cameras. Like the dash cam functionality and sentry mode, yep. They added that and you can see that now directly in the car or if you take your thumb drive or your SSD drive out and you plug it in, you can see that the color coming from those side cameras doesn't look as good as the color from the rear camera. Yeah. So we had the idea you know, months ago, it's like, can we replace those side repeater cameras? And we were actually hoping that Tesla would have done that when they did the upgrade, but apparently it's not needed for the upgrade. And so therefore they're not willing to do that as part of the upgrade because cameras aren't necessarily cheap. Yeah, it would, it, it would take a lot that to, out. to swap out the side repeater cameras. You have two cameras yep. there. You have the B pillar cameras and other two cameras. And then you have the triple camera up front. Right. And so, you know, that would take a lot to swap out all the cameras. You don't need to swap out the rear one, but that would just add to the cost. And, yeah. you know, that might add another 500 or to a thousand dollars to that upgrade. And they'd probably have a lot fewer people taking you know advantage of the MCU and the autopilot upgrade. Um, yeah. So I can see why they didn't include it. Yeah. So we actually reached out to Tesla service. First went online and found on the parts catalog, which is open and available to anybody, you just have to enter in an email address. We'll put the link down below. But we went out and uh, found what part number are like the newer ones. The brand new, because- And like picked up a, I'm trying to figure, this, this is driver's side. Okay. Yeah. And then we also got a passenger side. Now, originally I was trying to find these from maybe a total car or anything. And sometimes you can pick them up a little cheaper on eBay, but I kind of got cold feet in that I don't know if there might be something wrong with them. I don't want to buy something like this off eBay for to try to save like 20, 30 bucks yeah. and end up with a bad camera. One th so we one just bought these new. Yeah, one thing too is if you look at the parts catalog, you can see there's been multiple revisions. And yeah. There's, there's different versions too between the S and X looks like they're the same, but then the three has different camera, different part numbers, and then and the, the y. y has different ones because and they're all blacked yeah. out instead of being chrome. But you can see by the letter at the end of the part number, so this is what, 1125106-00-E. And I have 107. Yeah, so slightly different because they're on different sides but that no. dash e means this is probably the fifth revision of this yeah and we haven't popped the cameras off my car but i'm guessing they're probably going to be the dash a yeah or maybe dash b maybe b because they were yeah. early on but basically this means this is the latest camera this is what they're currently using in the model s and x that are currently being shipped and when we were looking on ebay yep. the cameras we saw were older and so if we're replacing the camera we wanted to get the latest one we didn't want to get Definitely. another 2017 camera that's the same one we're swapping out and this, most on ebay were like 85 bucks where and used these were i think 120 or 130 which might seem expensive yeah i did see that but yeah if you shop around there are a couple sellers that do have the latest one yeah but they might only have one we saw some guy was selling just like, left. the left one and so you still need to buy the right one you exactly. can get them from tesla all you do it's not a restricted part you just contact them yep. give them the part number and i they think they are vin you still need a model s VIN, vin but it doesn't have like i provided them this vin and they still were able to sell us these. So it's not like these are restricted based on VIN, which some parts are. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, we have some pre-footage of the cameras in the status before these, which is missing the green. And I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look great. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can pop these in, but there's some things that we need to be very careful for. Um, there's these two clips on the bottom, 
there's the two clips on the top. We wanna make sure we don't damage the Model S. So we're gonna kinda go through the fender so I can kinda stick my hand up there. Um, Cause yeah, no one wants to damage their car when doing this. But as you can probably tell, these are not wrapped or anything mm -hmm. either. Oh. So our current ones are wrapped gray with red, uh, but we are going to be ordering some carbon fiber caps from Abstract Ocean. Uh, I think it'll look really good on this and help protect it because to believe it or not, this little aluminum cover on here, you can kind of see, is very thin and can dent very easily. We've seen it on some cars that were hit with some light hail. Mm -hmm. No damage on the cars, but this was like peppered with dots. So at least that carbon fiber cap will help protect them. And I think I it'll think, look I really, think it'll really help good. With, well, right now we don't have to worry about it because it's wrapped. Hey, look at these fingerprints. Yeah, that so too. Those, the carbon fiber, I hate chrome, yeah, anything. Carbon but... fiber will cover that up. Yup, so uh, we're gonna go ahead, jump outside, and see uh, how easily we can actually take these old ones off because I don't want to damage the car. I don't want you to either. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we want to get out, but to be able to depress the two clips that are right here and here, we're gonna wanna gonna go in through the fender liner. So there's some clips we're gonna take out so I can kind of reach my hand up there and depress those clips. And then we're gonna take this up above and push down. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and put some tape here. This whole car is covered with paint, PPF or paint protection film, which will help. Uh, but if you don't have PPF, you definitely wanna make sure you tape all the way around it to make sure you don't damage your car because no one wants damaged paint. So uh, let me go grab some tape. We'll do that. I need to clean up some of this real quick and then go ahead and do some clips and go for it. Okay, so we went ahead, took out the clips right there. They are over there and kind of peeled this back. There's two clips right here and here. And on the new one, you can kind of see right here and here that I'm going to depress. You can see they actually move and those help hold it in. The two clips up top are more like pressure fit. They don't actually flex. So up top, what I'm going to do is use this, kind of put it behind. It's gonna sound really awful, but that's just the way this is gonna work out. Okay, so I've already got the bottom ones. I'm gonna try, cause I don't really have a ton of room to put this in here. So I'm gonna try kind of like grabbing this whole assembly and pushing it straight out and um, see how that works. Got it. Now, yeah, sounds awful. Sounds like I am breaking the sh** out of everything. I don't like that. Anyway, you can kind of see our wrap in here. No biggie. Um, same clips though. So we're just gonna carefully remove each one of these and put them into their respective spot. Now this is for the turn signal and then this is for the actual camera. So you just wanna be careful and make sure you put it in straight because there's a little pin right down in there. And so you wanna make sure that you get that pin straight. Don't bend it, be very careful. Also check it out, that is the dash A part revision that we were talking about. Oh yeah, this is the so A. this is one yeah. of the earliest versions of that camera. Yup. Okay, Pull it. came right out. And this, you do have that push tab right there. Push that straight out. And we'll go ahead and throw this right back on here. Got that snapped in. Then in here, got that snapped in too. And um, now we just literally push it back in as it kind of starts raining. So I'm gonna, just like that. Then did all four clips? Yeah. Now we can go ahead and remove our tape. Oh, no, there are the other two. I'm gonna put my hand back up here, see if I can push it out. I wanna make sure these don't fall out. We are all in. So we're gonna go ahead and jump to the other side real quick. Uh, it's kind of raining here, so we're gonna do it real quick and then we'll see you guys in just a minute. But let's see, go ahead and uh, put on the camera. Sorry for the lines across the screen. The refresh rate is kind of funky. Wow. We've got color. So there you can see, we now have colored Is cameras. It? They definitely look better. We'll go ahead and put a comparison um, before and after up real quick. Yeah, and it's still uh, not as good as you know the rear view one, but it's, oh, for it's, sure. it's still definitely better than it was before. Yeah, 100% agree.
Okay, so cameras definitely look better now. Yes, they aren't gonna look as good as the rear view like you mentioned, but I still like to see a little bit more green. And so like for dash cam clips, stuff like that, this will just be a little bit more friendly on the eyes. Is this mandatory though? No, it's not required. No. It should be required at all. Cause when, not required. When Tesla upgraded the car, it still has that hardware, yep. you know, the full self-driving functionality with the hardware, you know, three, mm -hmm. but with the existing Autopilot 2 cameras. But we exactly. just basically swapped out the side repeater ones. Yep. So this is, again, completely up to you if you would like to do this. Now, are there other cameras we could potentially try swapping? Why, yes. If you'd like to see those, comment down below. But basically, it's the B-pillar cameras, which would be interesting to swap as well as the tri-camera up here, uh, both of which would be very interesting to try to swap. So I don't know if we should attempt that. I don't know, comment down below if you would like to see that, and maybe we will. Probably a lot more labor intensive though. Yeah, and I think they are definitely more expensive, especially the yeah. triple camera up front is definitely more expensive part. Yeah, I haven't even looked those parts up to see how expensive those are, so I'm kind of afraid to. So just be careful, make sure you're buying what you need to. Now for us, the current revision is E, and we didn't even have to do an update, literally installed them, came right into the car. Plug and play, it works. And it worked. And we're so, lucky because there's some parts on Tesla that you can un plug plug in the new one and it will not work exactly These work no problem exactly which is funny because like the other things were like seats yeah. and like stuff like that where these are like autopilot cameras it's and like, that what? is okay yeah so i don't understand that but that's not my job but it is great everything works as a normal all autopilot functionality um we have the blinkers because those are also in the side repeater cameras so all that works as it should David's playing around with them. So all in all, is it worth it? Because that was two hundred sixty dollars. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, you I, don't sound very convincing. Well, it's like it'd been nice if it had been included as part of the upgrade. Agreed. It wasn't. I don't think everybody needs to go out and upgrade it. it again, the, the color, you know, wasn't perfect before, but it's better now. Yeah, I, I think it would be better more like as a gift or something. Because if you're trying um, to find somebody, you know, if somebody you know has an autopilot two car from October 2016 yep. through August 2017, this is a nice little present that for for the person who has everything, except for autopilot repeater cameras with green. Wait, is that is that you? I guess so. Hey, happy, <laughs> happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I really like the look of it, but like you said, it's really a personal preference. It is not required, but it is kind of a nice little addition. Yeah, definitely an improvement. Yep. Especially, I think it'll really come into play when Tesla allows it when you turn the blinker on and it shows a large image of that side on the screen. Yeah. And I think that will really help then. Definitely. So Tesla, waiting on you. So that's basically it. How many thumbs are we giving it? Two thumbs up. It's Four good. thumbs up? Four thumbs up. Four thumbs up. So definitely let us know, is this something that you would be interested in doing? Is this something you are going to do? Let us know, drop it down in the comment section below and we are happy to answer any install questions or anything else like that down there. As always though, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you are looking to accessorize your Tesla Model S, X3 and now Model Y, definitely check them out. All linked down below and using code Tesla inventory will get you 15% off of your first purchase. Now our two must have accessories for model three and Y are definitely going to be a center console wrap really helps protect that piano gloss black material from scratches, dust, any of that, and really kind of makes your Tesla your own, which is kind of fun because they have a bunch of different patterns and colors. And then an accessory that any Tesla can use is a matte screen protector really helps cut down any glare from the sun as well as fingerprints. You can't see fingerprints when using the matte screen protector. Otherwise, this thing looks disgusting. We have looked at it and it's nasty. So definitely check them out. They also do sell those carbon fiber side repeater camera covers, say that 10 times fast, and we will go ahead and be installing those on here just to help protect that chrome finish. And again, this car has no chrome on it, so we definitely don't want chrome on the repeater cameras. But as always, a thumbs up if you enjoyed that video. Go ahead and click here to subscribe. Here for some other ones. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.